Hyperparathyroidism is a disease of the parathyroid glands, affecting 1 in 800 people during their lifetime, and 1 in 250 women over age 50. Since parathyroid glands control the levels of calcium in our bodies, hyperparathyroidism is a disease of improper calcium regulation. There are four parathyroid glands located behind the thyroid gland. Parathyroid glands monitor and control the amount of calcium in our blood and bones by secreting a hormone called parathyroid hormone, or PTH. Each gland monitors the blood calcium and responds by making more or less PTH hormone. Hyperparathyroidism is a disease that occurs when one of the parathyroid glands develops a tumor. This tumor produces far too much parathyroid hormone, which is released into the bloodstream. The excess parathyroid hormone travels through the blood and into the bones. The hormone activates cells within the bones to eat away at the bones, often causing osteoporosis, fractures, and bone pain. The destruction of bone releases calcium into the blood. High blood calcium levels are seen in almost all patients with a parathyroid tumor. The excess calcium can build up in the arteries, increasing atherosclerosis throughout the body. This can lead to high blood pressure and increase risks for heart attack and stroke. The high calcium often affects the electrical system of the heart, causing atrial fibrillation and palpitations. The excess blood calcium builds up in the kidneys, forming kidney stones, and occasionally causing kidney failure. High calcium levels also affect the brain. Since we use calcium in the electrical system of our nerves, a high blood calcium is associated with a slower nervous system, which gives symptoms of tiredness, memory loss, and poor concentration. Many patients with high blood calcium have chronic fatigue for this reason. High calcium levels have an effect on the stomach and intestines, often causing gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as GERD, and abdominal discomfort. High blood calcium is even associated with higher risks of several cancers, including breast, prostate, colon, and kidney some of which are more than twice as common in patients with high blood calcium. It is estimated that untreated hyperparathyroidism can decrease a patient's life expectancy by five or six years, even when the calcium is only slightly elevated. There are no drugs, pills, or other treatments that can slow the process of bone destruction or take the place of surgical removal of the parathyroid tumor. Hyperparathyroidism is cured by surgical removal of the parathyroid tumor. In the hands of an expert, parathyroid surgery is a straightforward outpatient procedure that can often be completed in less than 20 minutes. Since as many as 30% of patients with hyperparathyroidism will have more than one parathyroid tumor, your surgeon will examine all four parathyroid glands to be sure a second tumor has not been left behind. Once all parathyroid tumors have been removed, the disease is cured. The process of eating away at the bones stops within minutes. Bone pain is typically gone within a few hours. The bones begin to regenerate within days, and the osteoporosis begins to improve. The excess calcium in the blood will be gone within a few hours, and within a week or two, most patients feel significantly better. The health risks of high blood calcium begin diminishing within days of parathyroid tumor removal. Hyperparathyroidism is a disease that typically makes people feel bad while it slowly destroys their body. All patients with hyperparathyroidism should be evaluated for a straightforward operation to remove the parathyroid tumor. Curing this disease has a tremendous impact on a patient's overall health and their quality of life. Download the Parathyroid Diagnosis app at parathyroid.com.